Welcome back to the line. This week, congressional candidate Yvette Harrell filed a lawsuit questioning the outcome of her race in the 2nd Congressional District. The lawsuit asks the court to impound absentee ballots so the Harrell campaign can, ex can inspect them. And Jeffrey, there are no specific accusations of voter fraud or wrongdoing in the complaint, just implications about chain of custody, so to speak, improprieties. Does that feel like a valid request to you, that this idea of the chain of custody? That's all, with all respect, that all sounds like a lot of minutia to me. Mm -hmm. What's happened to me, and I think a lot of Americans, is the most basic, fundamental, rudimentary act that we can provide as a, as a democracy is the right to vote right. and cast a ballot. Yeah. I think loss of confidence has happened, not only here in New Mexico, Florida, Arizona, Georgia, mm -hmm. and, and that fundamental right, if we lose that, what do we have? Mm -hmm. And for me, it's one of three things that's happened, and I'm not saying here in southern New Mexico, but look at Florida. Mm -hmm. You either have gross wanton incompetence to the apparatus by which we vote, the methodology, right. that mechanism. Right. It's, it's chaotic. Or three, you have fraud. Or maybe it's a combination thereof. Sure. Here's my thought. Why don't we have a universal national way of voting that everybody understands that isn't based on precinct, district, or state? Mm -hmm. Because it seems to me, depending on what state you're in, you have a different apparatus. And obviously you have understaffed uh, resources and those kinds of things, that's incompetence. But mm -hmm. it's gotta be one of three things. Fraud, uh, incompetence, or the apparatus itself maybe isn't caught up with voter behavior. That's right. People today cast votes differently than that's they right. did before. Before, we stand in line for an hour and a half to cast a vote. Now, you have a lot of uh, early and absentee, early and absentee mm -hmm. ballots. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like our mechanisms throughout our country are prepared for the difference in the way right. people behave in terms right. of voting. That's a good point there. Pick up on that if you would, you know, obviously Ms. Harrell, I'm sorry, the Secretary, our Secretary of State said, look, we didn't get any complaints about these improprieties. Mm -hmm. We're not quite sure what she's talking about. What's, what's the outcome here expected? Uh, well, well the first thing is I would expect that the judge um, who received this, who's been assigned to this case, will issue an order granting the impoundment of the, of the votes, no matter what. It's sort of a pro forma thing in the, sure. in the statute. You ask, you give us $25, we say, okay. Mm. Um, and so then the, ca the Herald campaign has to decide what they're going to do with that. They, they did issue a call on Facebook looking for people to contact them with any issues that they had as voters. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't heard yet what they're or what they're going to allege coming out of that, and so that does leave the Secretary of State's office sort of in the dark about where they may be going with that. Mm -hmm. um, but there is there is a deadline coming up, which mm -hmm. is that when the um, when the election is finally certified on the statewide level, um, the game is over, and so that's expected to happen right. later this month. I think that's right. we've got a short timeline for um, the candidate to decide what she's going to do. That's right. You know, interestingly, this is not a call for a recount, but it could right. be at right. some point down the road. Would you be uh, comfortable down? Well, I think we need to figure out whether or not these claims are substantiated. Like, to, to put forth these claims without any basis, and I agree, Jeffrey, here we are agreeing again. <laughs> um, that, you know, we have to, there needs to be some yes. meat on the bones. When you're, yeah. when you have a legislator or any candidate for that matter, anybody for that matter, go on national news saying things that question the integrity of the election, there needs to be, I think, a little more substance behind that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she talks about how she had already given her victory speech and right. the news had already called her race. And, but none yes. of that matters. You know, what matters is the vote. Mm -hmm. The election is based on the vote count, and the vote count is what matters. That's right. Are we too close to calling a winner here? Do you know what I mean? Should we just all just settle down here and just let this play out a little bit more another week? Yeah, I mean, you it, know, you know, I'm glad. I mean, it seems pretty clear the Ms. Tori Small Steffi, won, yeah, but you know, well, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't seem clear. You, I mean, okay. one of the first times in New Mexico that someone went to bed in a meeting and everybody said you're the winner, and you woke up the next day and you were the loser. Right. We've had examples before where people went to bed and they said they were the loser. Right. And some people said we might think you're the winner, but this was a clear call. Everybody was like, "Yep, oh, she won. You lost. Good night. Thanks." Right. Wake up the next morning. Oh, made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So. Except I, I get, for her I get opponent. The, I get the her trepidation. Opponent didn't concede. I get the trepidation. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I'm just glad to hear Stephanie say that she thinks there should be some meat on the bones because I hope that'll be, that's her feelings about the national conversation that's going on with the Democrats throwing out all the same accusations. At the end of the day, Yvette Harrell hasn't made any accusations yet. The camp just said, we want you to impound the ballots. Mm -hmm. They don't know. We Fair do point. know, Fair we point. do know that there's a history of some issues down at Sunland Park. We do know that for a fact. We know that people went, Documented. people got in trouble over it. We know that there was a DA's race about it. Yeah. So it's not like that stuff doesn't already exist. 
What, at the end of the day, though, the question you have to ask yourself, will it make a difference in the election? I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. I think that she's going to have more votes. Uh, Yvette Harrell's not going to have enough votes to win. I do think, and I don't want to be the guy beating the drum, I think this is just another highlighted example of the inefficiencies and ineffectiveness of the Republican Party to be prepared for this stuff, to be prepared for the get out the vote, to be prepared to have poll watchers, poll challengers, and have a plan in place like they have in years past to prepare for something like this and have boots on the ground to be ready yep. for it. To be hoping to get the, the ballots impounded today, Right. I mean, this is something you do the night of the election. That's right. This is something you do the next morning, That's right. not a week later. That's right. That's all the time we have. Sorry about that, Jeff. I know I get another point there. If you want to weigh in on any of the topics we discussed this week, be sure to reach out to us at NewMexicoInFocus.org or join our Facebook group, Focus on New Mexico.